Hi guys, so um, today I wanted to talk about the second episode of the NBC musical drama Spanish. Um, Ivy and Karen are basically the final two auditionees from Maryland, and after a four day delay, they get asked to do another audition and, you know, basically do dance scenes and after an excruciating, you know, dance practice with the dancers, um, it's determined that Ivy should be the Maryland. Um, Derek, the director, who's kind of a British pompous ass, decides that it would be a great idea to basically take advantage of this new female lead in the Maryland show, and he and Ivy start a relationship. Um, most of the episode is surrounding, you know, what girl will be chosen. And, you know, for me, it's kind of a shock that, oh my gosh, this early into the show, they have basically told us who Marilyn's going to be. But I've read in interviews that it's not really going to be that simple. Um, but basically, the entire episode is spent with the um, casting director and the director himself and the singer-songwriters arguing about who should be the right fit for the character of Marilyn. Um, I have to say that I did not like this episode at all, mostly because it was pandering to, you know, people choosing sides about which girl should be Marilyn. Um, also, this episode reaffirmed my anger and hatred for the character of Ellis. He's kind of a, like I said, he's a brown noser. And that's what I really hate about his character, is there's nothing redeeming about him. Um, uh, Ka Karen is one of those sweet, uh, noble girls who really deserves a chance, but Ivy's been working the ensemble circuit for who knows how long. Uh, and she also deserves a break. So for me, it's really an even call about which girl should be Marilyn. But everybody has their own opinion about um, about which girl should be Marilyn. Um, one thing that I didn't mention in the pilot was that the character of... Uh, I'm trying to find it here. The character of Eileen, who is supposed to be funding this musical project, has had trouble with her ex-husband uh, because she wants to fund this musical project and she usually doesn't fund musicals without his financial backing and business acumen. Um, and so it's been a real struggle and a real push for her from investors uh, to try and make this whole musical thing work. Because in truth, no one trusts Eileen. No one has ever seen Eileen pull off a musical by herself and make it a smash hit. Um, so that's something that's going on with that character. Um, I really, like I said, this just reaffirmed my hatred for Alice and he needs to go away because he really is out for himself, which I guess is a statement about, you know, people in the industry, but, you know, I'm, I'm not, I don't have any sympathy for him. I don't care about him. I care about all the other characters. I care about Julie and Tom. I care about Ivy and Karen. But Ellis is the one guy that I'm just like, go away. You have no point in the plot other than you created the original idea for the Marilyn musical. You've not really contributed any sort of upswing to the overall story uh, taking place in Smash. Um, I think one thing that, you know, really uh, bothers me about dramas is they take an evil character and rather than redeeming him or giving him, you know, some sort of emotional weight, they just make him worse and more evil. And that's what I really felt about the character of Ellis. They don't really take time to let us see more of his backstory, they just make him more evil. Um, and that causes Julia to like Ellis even less. Um, Tom doesn't seem to mind Ellis, and I think that's because Tom might be subtly attracted to Ellis, but we don't know that for sure. 
There's some great songs in here. There's a reprise of the song that they sang at the end of episode one, Let Me Be Your Star. And there's also an introduction of a new song. And I think there was a cover in that uh, episode too. Uh, but, you know, it just continues to showcase what strong singers uh, Megan Hilty and Catherine McPhee are. And I have to say, after watching the second episode, these two are a good match for each other. I underestimated Catherine McPhee's uh, acting ability. And she's done really well uh, with her role in the show. But how she's going to play into the uh, entire production of Marilyn is beyond me since Marilyn has been given to Ivy. And that was a very controversial decision. Rather than dragging it out for, you know, four or five episodes, they just decided to name it. And then if things happen, you know, during production, you know, there's a chance that Karen might snag the role after all. Um, but I don't know what's going to happen. I just know that, you know, I like this episode. I still like all the characters with the exception of Ellis. And the music is very catchy and fun. Uh, let me know what you think about this episode of Smash in the comments below. Until then, I will see you guys later.